standing here with uh, James Wardog, races in the V8 sprint cars. James, how did you get involved in sprint car racing? What inspired you? I've got to tell you, uh, maybe it goes back quite a way, but to cut it short, um, my dad had been involved with Harry Fun Espay for plenty of years, and that's how I grew up, uh, at a racetrack. And um, my, my good friend, my best friend, uh, that uh, was driving my car for a couple of weeks now, um, he got me back involved. You know, he said, yeah, it's a great sport, and this is it. So, you know, it's true to form that it is. It's one of the best sports around. And if you had to, as an outsider, get involved in sprint car racing, is it an expensive sport? Initially, it is. Um, and the maintenance of the vehicles. You've got to be very active every week. After a race meeting, go back, sort your car out. You know, don't let it stand. So there's a passion of working with your hands as well that you've got to be involved all the time. And where do the guys get hold of cars like this? Most of the cars are from the States, um, but there are cars in South Africa that are floating around that are for sale. They range from around about 150,000 Rand, um, but they are available, absolutely. And those are running cars. Well, what type of engines are they running? Mostly we're running the uh, smaller uh, T60s or T50 uh, V8s, which are stroker motors, uh, on methanol, small block. Um, so that's pretty much V8, yeah. And the chassis, are they, do they vary in, in, in different models and makes? They do. In America, it's very big. I mean, at, 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 at one given night in the States, they run probably about 80 cars. Um, they're very big on dirt. Um, so you do have a lot of manufacturers building different cars. For example, you'll get a Gagabler, which has no longer been made. The shops have closed down. So you've got Maxims now, Beast. Um, so there's a variety of cars and different types of chassis. And they obviously all drive differently in different sort of feel to the car. Yes, absolutely. And also you've got to set the car up to uh, your driving style. So there's a lot of tinkering involved in jacking, setting up stagger and things like that. And tell me about sponsors. How difficult is it obviously to get sponsors on board? Uh, it's, it's, it's very difficult because we're not getting enough airtime on television. Um, so we're self-funding most of ourselves. And, you know, and the guys really, it's, it's not a case that we want to make money out of it. It's, there's, there's, there's consumables that come out of the vehicle, like methanol, oil, oil filters and things like that. That's, that's where we want to get to. But sponsors are very difficult. And I don't know if it's got something to do with the recession. <laughs> James, looking back at your racing history, how, uh, have you won anything in, in, in sprint car racing? Uh, nothing in sprint car racing, but I was very big in speedway in South Africa. So in 1992, I became SA Champion Division 2. Um, and uh, that's just been rolling over, you know, until I've got enough money to get in my car. And sponsors on your car, is there anyone you'd like to mention? No, this is the sponsor. <laughs> You're the main sponsor. Okay. If there's any sponsors out there, please. <laughs> James, well, thank you very much and everything on the best. Thanks, Thank you to you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Very much. Tonight. Thank you. Thank you. And then these guys have been involved longer than I have. So has been the So, yeah.